Hey, what's up, everybody? My name is Trofin at the Babbling Belgian, and welcome back to Prey. We're still right outside the office, well, well, of uh, ourselves, and the turret is making a lot of noise. So just move, cheese, cheese. Okay, kill it. Thank you. Okay, that was the start of an episode. Holy shit, that mimic just came out of nowhere. Probably uh, a, a scripted event, so let's take that while we're at it. So we're right outside our own office. So the VP, Director of Research. So VP is usually Vice President, so I'm kind of the, almost the second to, to one boss of this uh, space station, which is interesting. We still don't know why we volunteered ourselves to be experimented on, so we were kind of reset. Let's take that. I want to eat the banana. Uh, or just take the banana. Uh, we volunteered to have to, to be experimented on it, and we don't really know why we would do that. We don't have a password for Jason Chang's... Um, ooh, OMG Hotballs. Is that his password? Oh god, that is his password. Um, that was not what I wanted to do. That was what I wanted to do. It's been a few days since I played this, so one email. Eco changed. Jason, main screw the keypad to my office. Had him set it to 0451. Of course it is, but we kind of knew that already, I think. Because that's the code that comes back in a lot of games, including uh, the Zoner, Deus Ex, um, Bioshock even. So the Bioshock Infinite we played, it was in there as well. 0451. I'll be in the Sim Labs a while, so if you need anything, help yourself. So why did we reset ourselves? That is so weird. So, uh, 0... Oh, okay. Zero, four, five, one. Because I think in Deus Ex there's actually a trophy for just entering it in the first keypad you come across. Since uh, it's such a prevalent code. Welcome back. This has been your home for the last three years. The video should be on your workstation. Okay, are there mimics in this place? Thank you, Chinese um, I'm just going to assume that they aren't, because this place was closed. What was that? I heard a bleep. So there's bleeps all over the place, but let's check out. So too far, too fast. Um, in Kennedy's second term, the space race reached... Okay, so that's the same bit about the space race we've seen before. Wow. There's a lot of stuff here, but let's check the video file for... Ooh, there's three neural modes here. That's three skill points, if I'm not mistaken. The teleconferencing room, keycard for that. And then we know we're going password, but... Good morning, Morgan. I got the plan you requested. It's in your safe, Jason. The fab plan. And then paradox again. Watch me, Morgan. Hello, Morgan. This LGV file should clear things up. Make sure you're alone when you hit play. I think I'm alone. I think I'm alone, so let's... Let's check that. There's a lot of food in here as well. Watch playback on the main screen. Oh. Oh, there it is. Hello, Morgan. Tough day, right? If I'm talking to myself, it must be. Your memory shot full of holes, I know. I'm sorry, but it's permanent. So the first thing you need to know is you can trust January. It's an operator, a sort of backup of you and me. It knows what you've forgotten. We've been testing a new kind of neuromod based on the Typhon organisms, mapping their neural patterns onto ours. Problem is, when you uninstall a neuromod, it resets your memory back to the moment you first put it in. That's why you forget. There's supposed to be a process that brings you back up to speed between test runs, but someone could just skip that part. Turn a single day into your entire life. Well, that's exactly what Alex did. The question is, why? You're not going to like what I have to say next. Looking glass server connection lost. Okay, that's screaming in my face. I'm just gonna crawl under the desk for a bit. you listen to that not until i've had a chance to explain everything in person for now just damn it i have to go just sit tight please 
Okay, so Alex is definitely still alive. And that explains a bit. So Alex kind of abused the fact that we were in there and reset our day constantly. Sorry, Morgan. Alex cut us off from the Looking Glass servers. Time to improvise. I suggest you search Dr. Calvino's workshop in the hardware labs. He invented the Looking Glass technology. You might find a way to restore the server connections there. I'm looking for another way to help you in the meantime. Good luck. So January is not just a hacker, January is an AI. An AI based on us even. Which is interesting. Um, but we kind of knew what was happening apparently because we made that own that video for ourselves just gonna oh that's that's eating there we go so we made that for ourselves so that means that we kind of knew what was going on the glue cannon ammo fabrication plan and a weapon upgrade kit that sounds great uh i can do that in a second alex for some reason took advantage of the fact that we were Resetting our day constantly and just kept us in that loop for some reason. He kind of put his own um, sister on the bench. But why? I suppose she was also talking about neuromods that were based on the Typhons. So the, the mimics and the phantoms we've seen around. So that might give us a few powers as well. Uh, there's still... Ooh, there's a lot of components here. Let's take all that. Place... Ooh, the recycler. Place items in bin. Uh, so I can open that up probably. Yeah. So what items do we have? Well, there are things that I know for sure I can put in there. So let's... Oh, there's a transfer junk button. There we go. That's transfer all junk. So that makes a bit of space in our inventory. I can actually eat the sun-dried tomato jerky as well. So let's do that. It also gives us a bit of uh, health regeneration. Recyclers can be used to recycle unwanted items into useful materials. Sounds simple, right? Okay, and the fabricator can make new items. Okay, so let's uh, recycle. Wow, that's colorful. Synthetic material, exotic material, mineral, mineral, synthetic. Ooh, it's gonna. There we go. Lots of materials. There's more stuff in here. I'm just gonna. Oh, oh I, I picked up the lamp by accident. Wrench fabrication plan. That sounds great. And Morgan used sweet. That sounds great. Another med kit. Just gonna ransack the place. More burn circuit boards. So that's all of that. And that must be the fabricator then. So, this is another operator then, or does this thing make operators? So January is an operator, just want to keep our terms clear there. Uh, let's transfer all our junk. That gives us more materials. I think I can eat one more piece of food, just to get us to full again. So let's eat that, and that with the healthy generation that should Put us back up to 100. One. And 100. There we go. So let's recycle that. And get all the materials. So now we can go to the fabricator probably and then make some stuff. Okay, so there's the two things that we just found. Can be used to create weapons, ammo and other useful items. So let's go with the wrench. Because I'm using the wrench and the wrench doesn't have ammo, so a fast is heavy twist and loop handle industrial wrench. There we go. Infinite licenses. Uh, add that. Oh, okay, that does it automatically. That does it automatically. So let's create. Is that is that a better wrench? I think we made. Yeah, we made a second wrench, didn't we? Yeah, I definitely did. So that's 10 out of 20, 10 out of 20. Okay, so I'm going to see if I now put that wrench back into the recycler because it does the exact same thing. So let's just put that in and recycle it. That gives us one material of the two back, which is no good, of course, but I think we got a spare part out of that as well. Not, not sure. Not sure, but... That's that, I suppose. So the fabricator doesn't ma really make molds, then I suppose. We can make 
glue canisters if we want more ammo, but I think we have ammo enough for now. I'm assuming we can always come back here to do whatever we want to do. But this is the fabricator. How do we check out those upgrades? Okay, so we have the weapon upgrade kit. So programmable weapon modification device. Combine this item with a weapon to upgrade it. Requires gunsmith or lab tech ability for advanced upgrades. I don't know how to use the disruptive stun gun yet. So I'm just going to go with the glue cannon then. Let's upgrade that. Like this. Aha. Okay. I think the incapacitation rate is supposed to be the most important one, so let's do that. Yes. So glue cannon upgraded by 20%. Next one is actually going to 150, so that's 30% upgrade, which is nice. And then we have the Psy Hypo, a psycho stimulant that increases the psychic potential of an individual when injected, but we don't have psychic abilities yet, I suppose. And last but not least, we got three Neuromod points, so that means we can actually go in here. Effectiveness of medkits, definitely. So let's confirm that, and we can get metabolic boost as well. Doubles both the duration of the well-fed bonus and the health gain by consuming food. I think that's gonna be the most important one right now. I could do leverage. I have to... Hmm. You know what? Leverage is probably more important just to open up a few sections of the map. So that's going to help us out. And then I'm going to have to start focusing on health and stuff like that. But I need more points to actually get that. So I think I'm going to save my point so we can go into metabolic boost next. Because I'm losing health quickly. So if I have ways of getting that back just as quickly, that's going to help us out greatly. So... We do have our uh, suit is degrading a bit because of all the attacks we've been suffering. But there's three emails. You made it EOM from January, okay? And then from Michaela Ilyushin. I still don't know what happened. I've put it behind me, but there's no reason we can't be civil. You passed me in the hall today and you looked through me. If you're angry at something I did, tell me and we can talk about it. Pretending you don't even know who I am isn't going to help. We still have to work together. So Michaela clearly didn't realize that we were being reset every day. So that's why we probably didn't recognize her. And then from Jason Chang, so that's a guy outside of our office. As requested, your terminal logs are set to be automatically forwarded to your suite in the crew quarters and the supplies from hardware sent up. Let me know if they get to you all right and if not, I'll get it resolved. Like last week, I'll make sure you aren't disturbed in the interim. Let me know if there's anything else I can do. I'll hold down the fort outside your office. Jason. So I feel like our suite is also a good uh, location to go next because I feel like that's gonna that's gonna contain a few nice items as well. There's a few cabinets here. We might actually check these. Although these seem to be all connected to the same cabinet, and otherwise this office is actually pretty empty. There's a box. Is that actually no? It's something I can lift. But now I have leverage one. Should be able to lift uh, more heavy things. The locker is empty for some reason, which is also weird. So I'm assuming for now, because the turret is protecting it, the turret would have noticed target, no if a uh, mimic passes. So should be fine for now. What was that? There's noises. I hate the noise. This game is creepy as fuck, by the way. Okay, it died. And I get shotgun shells, but I still don't have a shotgun, so that's starting to get a, be a problem as well. Because I need... Oh! Teleconferencing. I have that key, right? Oh! Combat basics. Take advantage of your environment and tools in combat. You do not have to fight every enemy head on. Use alternate routes to sneak past stuff. Enemies are to get a drop on them. If you intend to fight, disabling enemies first with tools like the glue cannon can increase your odds of surviving. Why are you telling me this now? I think I can actually open that up and just if there... Oh god! I can just move to the turret. Because the turret, turret is... Turret is there it goes. He's doing good work, isn't he? I don't need to fight. There we go. Add more Typhon organs. So that's why the game was warning me. Um, do I need to still reload this thing? No, I think there's just a... 
a gap on how quickly I can fire this thing. So, opening that up again. And he has a pistol. He has a silenced pistol. Oh god, that's not it. Okay. I should have known. Probably need to go. So I can now make silenced pistol ammo. Oh god. Mimics are fast, man. Holy crap, I didn't even know where that one came from. So I'm gonna take the pistol now. There we go. That's a noise I'd like to hear. Pistol. Finally. R2 to fire your pistol and square to reload. Okay. Now we're cooking. Now we're cooking an actual gun instead of the freaking glue thingy. Okay, we can make ammo with what we just picked up as well. And what else did we pick up? I think it was just ammo, right? Oh, there's actually an upgrade button? But we don't have, have any weapons. Okay, so you can upgrade just weapons directly as well. Uh, can I put that in my quick select? Because now... Because I don't have... How do I put that in my quick select? Aha, a sign. Okay, sign to the left. So left is pistol, right is wrench. And bottom is glue cannon. Which sounds great, doesn't it? Okay, I'm just gonna eat a banana. Um, although, I'm fine for now. Fine for now. So let's... Oh, that was a flashlight. There we go. And we have a pistol. We can finally defend ourselves a bit. Uh, I'm probably gonna waste a lot of ammo. Just because I'm gonna start firing at stuff willy-nilly. Because I think it's a, a mimic. That's, no, that's a single chair, although I could, I could of course wrench it if I want to. Could of course wrench it if I want to. I'm gonna just start whacking stuff. That's fine. Is this something I can actually open up? Dr. Calvino's workshop, that's probably where we need to go. I can actually carry a lot of uh, bigger things now. Because it actually still marks it if I need to... If I need to start... Um, um, um. So it's definitely one of the chairs. Um, oh, there it is. God damn it, I missed three times. Get over here, you bitch. So I can't aim, there's no aim button. I just need to... It's making noise. Oh, wow. I think I got it. There we go. Surprise attack on Mimic Objects. Let's reload. And that's... That's a few bullets I wasted on that one. Okay, so now that I have the pistol, I probably can detonate stuff from a distance. I need to be careful because I'm assuming there's more Mimics around here. I could blow this entire place to smithereens if I want to. So there's a, a chair at every side, so that kind of makes sense. Spare parts, so that also indicates that... That was twice the same object. That also indicates that uh, usable objects can actually be... God damn it, I'm scaring myself. Can actually be mimics as well. Oh, I broke the light. I am so sorry, but I broke the light. Okay, so those are... Those are just explodey thingies. And the recycler here is broken. I could probably repair it with some spare parts. There we go. Good morning, Talos. Warning. Tampering with administrative controls on workstations or keypads may result in electric shock. Ah. If you're having trouble accessing a system, please send a help alert to security. Okay, okay, okay. So now there's another recycler here. I can use that to just transfer my junk. And that gives us more exotic materials since I just... Look, so the Typhon organs just changed in that uh, exotic material, okay. Now, I could probably blow that up. There we go. I just blew that up. Kind of made a bit of space. Kind of made a bit of space. Just looking around for all the entrances, but this seems to be... Okay, so I can travel through there if I want to. Do I want to? Probably should, right? There was one more room over there, and since I'm pretty sure I'm fine at the moment, 
enemy wise I might as well go there before I don't know how much the enemies respawn if I go from one area to the next wait did I kill something or no that was a weird noise okay so we're back in the main lobby here so if I move to the other side now that we're still here might as well just take a look right here don't know what's going on over there that seems like some freaky shadows sales division Assuming the guys in the sales division are also dead doesn't seem like the most defensible guys. But let's take a look in the sales division. Oh god. Um, I'm gonna quick save. There we go, let's just complete the save. And then the glue cannon. Although, if I can fire off... Why was that an enemy? That thing had a name. I think it might be around the corner. Okay. Um. There we go. Okay, so an entire clip of pistol ammo takes care of a phantom. A phantom. But that guy had a name, Yuri... Yuri something. Yuri Kimura, corpse. But why was he a phantom? So, does that mean that the phantoms are actually people? If they manage, if the Typhon managed to take over a person completely, they turn into a phantom? That's weird. The space elevator. So yeah, I know what a space elevator is. So that just connects the space station to Earth with a really, really long elevator. I'm just walking around here like they're... There is nothing here, but I'm assuming there is. There's a lot of glass around. Ooh. Ooh. Uh, drink. There we go. Well, fat status. I gain a bit of health that way. There's a lot of glass around, and I feel like it's a trap, but here we go. Okay, so that do doesn't actually trigger flexi foam bolts. Uh, employee profile. Rising star, we profile Harley Granger, a member of the Neuromod sales team who is currently stationed aboard Ta Talos 1. Some of you might recognize Harley's name from his professional baseball days when he played second base and wore number 66 for the Tornadoes. Harley was assigned to Talos 1 two years ago and has made the journey into orbit and back over 50 times. Not bad for someone who is afraid of flying. My time playing ba baseball forced me to deal with that fear, he said. Believe it or not, a shuttle flight to Talos 1 is far easier than a cross-country airline trip. Airliner trip, trip, but yeah, you know, you know what I mean. Um, so that's a weird thing to put there, but they hired a baseballer. So that's Yuri Kimura's office. Oh, oh Jesus Christ. Ah, yeah, I screamed, I screamed, I screamed, I screamed. Die a thing. There we go. Holy crap. Yep, that was a, a, a pro probably a, a very girly scream. Ah! Okay. Stop doing that. I think I need to invest in the stealth skill as well. Because I th those things just see me immediately. Just pop the health kit. Just to get me to 89 again. And we lost two points of armor. I do have an armor repair kit, so that's not that bad. Neuromod application instructions. Yeah, okay, we saw that. Just jam an eye. Damn you all the hell. Ooh, what's this? A Huntress Boltcaster. But how would this be? The Huntress Boltcaster launches foam darts which do zero damage, also known for its ability to annoy co-workers, distract enemies, and remotely trigger buttons and screens. Use R2 to fire your toy gun and square to reload. Oh, that's cool. So a foam crossbow to, you know, just annoy people with. Um, I feel like in the Neuromod division, they might actually store Neuromods, right? If I get one of those, I can actually get that wild fat bonus thing. Um, the workstation doesn't have power. Now we need to somehow provide power power to this area then but some screens are on some screens aren't is that oh four neuro modes oh that is nice let's just go in that i think stealth is gonna be better so i think stealth and the bio stuff is gonna be better on this difficulty 
So that will allow us to be a bit more stealthy. And then the bio catalyst thing, metabolic boost. I still have three neural mods, by the way. Um, so might as well check if I can't get anything useful for tree. I think it's going to be better just to go with the metabolic boost first. There we go. So that means that if we now eat, for example, I can't eat the banana peel. Uh, but we still have that coffee thing, yeah. So drink that. Yeah, that gets us up there immediately. And that gets us to 100. Um, and there's another skill that we can use to... Maybe we can do that immediately. I think there's one for one point that actually just ups our health. There it is, conditioning. Increase your health to 115, your stamina to 105, and run, sneak, climb, and sprint 5% faster. There we go. Conditioning. That sounds like something. And we actually get those 15 points for free. Because uh, I didn't need to heal up those extra 15 points we just got. So, there we go. That's what I wanted. I hoped for extra new remotes in this place and we did get it. Ah, so if you jump, you actually stay in stealth as well. Makes sense. Doesn't always happen in games like this, but makes sense. Just gonna keep sneaking then. But let's get into the hardware access labs now. Might as well recycle our stuff while we're here since we repaired that. And that means we can actually... Oh, that's just... That just ha Wait, there was a take from... Actually, just smack that, yeah. Is there a take prompt? I thought there was a, a take prompt around here, but... I'm just gonna whack that out of the way. There we go. Clean. Clean. Let's just use this and go to the hardware labs. Hardware labs, okay. This place has seen better days, I think. I'm just gonna crouch immediately. Okay, that's, that's a great start. That's a great start. Those are normal boxes. Press circle to sneak if you wish to avoid direct confrontations. Okay. So, robots. So, January is something like that as well. But I think I can hack things so that thing seems to be still looking in that direction and the other one just left i think i think it knows where i am I'm just gonna equip the stun thing i think it came from over there how do i use this thing how do i use this thing okay so i'm gonna have to reload my save there I'm just gonna let it kill me. Because that was that was bad. There we go, let's just die. There we go. So now okay. So now I know how to use that. So I just need to charge it and then release. But I think this range is the range is actually pretty good. Seven and a half meters. So if I equip that, I can actually charge it. And then release. And there we go. So double shot with the stun gun. And I get Q-beam cells. This is loud. Can you please shut up the music? I'm gonna take the drinks as well. There we go. Can I shut this off? There we go. Shut that off because the speakers were a bit loud. So there's definitely another one here. But with the stun gun, I think I can actually just manage. Um, two shots was enough. There we get an empty food then. There we go. Where is the other one? I think the noise came from over here. And there's... Oh! There's used materials here, so... Things are breaking down. Water cooler. Cool. Get it? Because it's cool. So I checked this, uh, the trophy list of this game already. Which is, uh, well, typical for... Ooh. Did it see me? Or what, what was that? No, okay. So, which is the, it's a typical list for an Arcane Studios game, which is to say there's a lot of uh, playthrough specific uh, 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 well trophies for this this game. So, I think there's one for completing the game without having any human abilities. So the neuromods, and there's one for doing one without uh, typhoon abilities. Then there's one without killing anyone. Ooh, asteroid fragment. That sounds cool. 
uh, any of the humans. So apparently there's, there are going to be people alive here. I can actually check the telescope. Okay, that's just going out, which is fine. I can hear that bolt just going around, so... What the hell is going on? There it is. I don't think it saw me yet. But at least I can see it now. Does this... Can I pick that up? No. So there's a phantom in there as well, which is not good. Not good at all. I do want to check out, because this woman had... Another wrench. Okay, so I can take her stuff, though. Can I take the wrench? I'm going to take the wrench for now, because you can recycle wrenches as well. Uh, and more food where that came from, so I'm really happy that we took that one skill. I think the glass is still making noise, but there we go. More food is more health regeneration. Okay. So the phantom I can deal with with the pistol. I'm just going to check on the right. Jesus Christ. If I charge the stun gun. There we go. The double shot takes care. Oh God. Okay, that's... Just going to grab that. There's actually spare parts in those robots if I can have the extra dismantle skill. Uh, I'm just going to go with the glue cannon for now. See so if I can hit that mimic with that. Or even the phantom, because there's a phantom over there. Okay, so there's another neuro mode here. That's good. Let's at least grab that. There's a lot of noise going around. Oh, I probably should reload the glue cannon. I'm making a lot of noise, aren't I? I'm just gonna smack that. I knew it. I was quick enough this time. Okay, I was quick enough this time. There's another corpse over there, but I don't know. We're going in the right direction, so I don't know what that is. That hallway is. I'm gonna check that later on, because there's a phantom in there. And there's definitely a mimic here somewhere as well. I think it went in this direction. I can still hear the phantom. So I think that second bottle must be it. Crap. Is this one? No. There's definitely still one here. Ooh, there's a lot of booze here. I'm just gonna grab all of that, because I think that goes in the same slot, as long as I don't go over the limit. More stuff, so if I can find a recycler, that would be nice. Okay. I think I'm missing something. Oh, there it is. Hello, Clive. Clive. So that was loud all of a sudden. Jesus Christ. Um, it's still supposed to be a mimic, but more uh, ammo is always nice. Employee entrance. And my inventory is full. Great. Um... I can't take the... I'm gonna check my inventory first. I probably should focus on getting rid of stuff like banana peels. Uh, so I'm gonna drop those. The Typhon stuff is not so great, but... I mean, we'll keep it for like this for now. The organic stuff, I don't think I really need that much organic stuff. Hmm. There's an access panel over... I'm just gonna whack some stuff. Because I'm not sure... There we go. Okay, so we can open this access panel, and that gets us inside as well, probably. Oh, so I'm assuming I can fix that with the glue cannon. There we go. Fix that up nice, and I can get some glue canisters out of that as well. Didn't waste nearly as much as that. Oh, it took something. Uh, I don't need to reload, right? Just gonna check if there's nothing underneath here. There's whispering, but more freight wires, EMP charge, and another wrench. And the EMP charge is probably good against robots. Emits a large burst of electromagnetic energy, highly effective against robot studs and other electrical based entities. Can be thrown or affixed to stationary objects. Okay, so Randall Wood. He also has a wrench. I think I'm going to drop the other wrench because that's also taking two 
slots here. So I'm going to drop. No, not equip. Not equip. Uh, drop. There we go. I'm just going to re-equip the glue gun. There we go. So there's two wrenches over here. If I find uh, a way to actually get through to... Oh, God. How, how am I going to do this? Can I jump that high? Oh, no. But of course I can use the glue cannon if I want to. So I can do this. And then this. And then crouch again, because that sounds really, really bad. So there's a phantom. You know what? I'm gonna... I'm gonna go in here again. And I'm gonna quick save over here. Oh, incoming call. Never mind. The station tech starts here. Lab equipment, special parts requests, prototypes. We should be able to fix your looking glass terminal from Dr. Calvino's workshop. Okay, so now that we're in the workshop, I might actually take a break before we do any of that. So, uh, thank you guys enormously for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed the episode. If you did, don't forget to uh, maybe give it a like right here on uh, YouTube with the, with the buttons down below. I'm assuming you know how that works. So, uh, thank you guys enormously for watching and hope to see you guys in the next episode of Prey. Goodbye.